Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix an iPhone stuck on factory reset. When you want to start afresh, trade in an iPhone, give it away or resolve a serious problem, factory resetting an iPhone comes in handy. It helps by removing all data, apps and saved settings from the device and lets you clean install the latest version of iOS to start from scratch. However, an iPhone may get stuck while factory resetting it, where the device is stuck on the progress bar, Apple logo, or the reset loading screen. Calm down, it doesn't matter if you erase all content and settings on iPhone's settings app, or restore the phone to its factory settings using a computer. This video will show you why an iPhone is stuck on factory reset and some useful tips to get it resolved. Let's move on. Why is your iPhone stuck while factory resetting? It might be due to different reasons when you get stuck while factory resetting an iPhone. The factory reset process doesn't complete successfully because of the lack of power. The operating system is stuck or glitched. The phone runs an iOS that's too old. Unknown error message pops up when resetting an iPhone to factory settings. Apple's server doesn't respond to the reset command. A hardware failure stops an iPhone reset in progress. Now, follow me to go through some workable solutions you can try to fix iPhones stuck in reset. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods to solve the stuck factory reset progress and make your iPhone usable again. They work for all iPhone models running from older iOS versions like iOS 12 to later iOS versions like iOS 18. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Plug iPhone into power. iPhone factory reset is taking so long. Plug it into power and let it charge for at least one hour. Performing a factory reset requires enough power on the device. If it's too low, it'll result in iPhone stuck on factory reset. So, take a look at your iPhone to see if the reset continues after charging it. If your iPhone is still stuck on the progress bar when trying to restore it to factory settings, try the next method. Force your iPhone to turn on. A simple force restart can resolve many issues in seconds. If you don't know why iPhone is stuck while resetting, a force reboot is a go-to option. It helps unfreeze the stuck screen via button presses only. That means you can fix an iPhone stuck on reset screen showing the Apple logo and progress bar without computer. We'll explain how to do that below. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Once your iPhone gets rid of the stuck reset process and reboots, try doing a factory reset again to see if the reset process is completed this time. Update iPhone in recovery mode first. iPhone comes with a feature called recovery mode, using which you can either choose to update the iOS or restore an iPhone to its factory settings. Updating iOS is a good solution when your iPhone gets stuck on reset. It helps unfreeze the stuck reset screen during factory reset like the progress bar doesn't move forward at all. We'll explain how to do that below. Prepare a PC or a Mac with Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder installed, a USB cable, and your iPhone. If you're ready, run Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder on your computer. Attach your iPhone to a computer using the cable. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode, the steps of which vary on different iPhone models. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, keep your iPhone connected and go back to the computer. From the pop-up window on Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder, choose the update option and finish the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, like one hour, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart to see if it turns on smoothly. 
Try restoring an iPhone in recovery mode. If your iPhones get stuck on reset when attempting factory resetting through the settings app, you can try restoring an iPhone in recovery mode. The process will be the same as updating the device in recovery mode. We'll explain how to do that below. On the computer, open Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder. Use a cord to attach your iPhone to a computer. Next, enter recovery mode on iPhone. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, keep your iPhone connected and go back to the computer. From the pop-up window on Apple Devices app, iTunes or Finder, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. If you get the loading bar stuck on iTunes or other applications which prevent the iPhone from resetting properly, try the next solution. Try erasing an iPhone in iCloud.com. If you're in a scenario where you've tried factory resetting an iPhone through iTunes but get stuck because an unknown error occurred, consider erasing the device in iCloud.com. It's a way allowing you to log iCloud through a browser and initiate a remote erase command on the iPhone to bring it back to its factory defaults. We'll explain how to do that below. In any browser, head to iCloud.com and log in with your iPhone's Apple ID and password. After you log in iCloud's homepage, browse through the features and choose green Find My Icon. Next, from the given devices list, select your iPhone that's stuck on reset screen. Choose Erase This Device and confirm to do the reset by clicking the Erase again. Finish all the on-screen instructions until the erase is started to delete everything on your iPhone and factory reset it. How long it takes to finish the factory reset process depends on your phone's internet speed. Contact Apple online or visit the store. If iPhone still gets stuck on reset screen after multiple attempts, it might indicate a hardware issue or a server problem. Contact Apple's customer support online for help. Or, you can visit a service center for a diagnostic. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone stuck on reset. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in restoring the service to use the device as normal. If you did, please consider liking and buying this video a super thanks. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more tech-related content. Until next time.